to the service here at St. John. And thanks for you being able to join us here in person and also for those of you who are joining us online as we continue to uh, have both the in-person and online services. We give thanks that that is able uh, to be able to gather us together during this time. So uh, just a few announcements for the care of the congregation. Uh, we had this past week, we had the uh, funeral service for Nancy Krieger at the, the funeral home at Shane Bowers. There is going to be a, a celebration of life for them out at their family farm uh, near Kilkenny. And so the information for that is in the bulletin. That will be on May 22nd at 2 o'clock. It's going to be outside and open and they want people to come and celebrate. So we give thanks uh, for her life and for the promises that keep her. Uh, we also just want to lift up uh, uh, Fern Bealey is going to put out hospice care, and so continued prayers for her family as they continue to surround her and for her during this time as well. So uh, continue to lift them up and continue to um, hold them in our prayers. Um, if you notice, for those of you who are here, uh, we do have some plants available from the plant sale that we had for the youth group. If you are interested in it, there's the prices that are down there for it. Uh, if you want to, you can just drop it, the money in an envelope and put it into the box right outside of the office door. Uh, at this time, I invite you to please stand as you're able. As we begin our service with our gathering song, our gathering song for this day is Joyful, Joyful, We Adore. <laughs> Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. 
Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your holy name. Amen. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for us, and for his sake, God forgives us all our sins. As a call and ordained minister of the Church of Christ and by his authority, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of all your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll continue our service with the prayer for this day. The prayer for this day is printed at the top of our bulletin insert. Let us pray. O God, you have prepared for those who love you joys beyond understanding. For into our hearts such love for you, that loving you above all things, we may obtain your promises, which exceed all we can desire. Through Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We'll continue our service with our psalm. Our psalm for this day comes from Psalm 98. We'll be reading that responsibly. Sing a new song to the Lord. Who has done marvelous things, whose right hand and fully arm have won victory. O Lord, you have made known your victory. You have revealed your righteousness in the sight of the nations. You remember your steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Shout with joy to the Lord, all the land. Lift up your voice, rejoice and sing. Sing to the Lord with harp, with harp and the song, the voice of song. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, shout for joy before the King, O Lord. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the world and those who dwell therein. Let the rivers clap their hands and let the hills ring out with joy before the Lord. To judge the, the Lord will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. You may be seated. Um, we'll do a, I'm going to do a prayer for Mother's Day. This is a wonderful way to continue to remember and to lift up all those mothers who have been a part of our lives and those who have acted as mothers as well. Uh, I have a friend, uh, a pastor friend back in Montana. Molly Sasser Painter, uh, she was at uh, Emmanuel Luther Church in Missoula. She was also a Luther graduate and had been a former member of my congregation, one of my congregations back in Montana when she was younger. And uh, she actually has been pastor longer than I have, but she's prepared a wonderful prayer for us to lift up and to surround our mothers at this time. Let us pray. For most of us, Mother's Day is a time of thanksgiving and a joy for one who gave us birth and raised us and loved us unconditionally. Yet for many of us, it is a public reminder of our sorrow and pain that seems out of sync with the images of flowers, bunches, brunches, jewelry, and candy boxes. We remember moms who have died. We remember moms with memory loss who don't recognize us anymore. Remember moms who let us down or hurt us terribly. We remember how we longed to have our own child but could not because of infertility, miscarriages, or even a lack of a partner. So today we offer up this prayer. The Lord says, Can a woman forget her nursing child or show no compassion for the child of her womb? Even these may forget, yet I will not forget you. See, I have inscribed you on the palms of my hands. Isaiah 49, 15 and 16. Life-giving God, we give you thanks for our home in your eternal love through Jesus Christ. We give thanks for mothers who reflect the image of your love through their tender care and guidance. We pray for forgiveness, healing, and peace for those who mother-child relationship is strained, hurt, or broken. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Life-giving God, we pray for mothers who struggle 
to provide for their children amid famine, war, and national discord. We pray especially for mothers and children in Yemen, South Sudan, Somalia, and Northeast Nigeria. We pray for freedom, healing, and justice for victims and survivors of domestic and sexual violence. Grant peace in our world, peace in our nation, peace in our homes, and peace in our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Life-giving God, we pray for those who desire to be mothers but struggle with miscarriages, infertility, or disappointment in relationships. Comfort them, walk with them, and through it all, give them the assurance of your never-failing love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Life-giving God, we give thanks for mothers who place their children up for adoption and for those families who adopt them. We give thanks for foster parents. We bless them and help them to care for the precious gifts you have given them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Life-giving God, we pray for single mothers who raise their children alone. Surround them with a community of support and help. Grant them good jobs and fair wages so that they may care for their children. Lord, in your mercy. Life-giving God, we remember mothers who have had the greatest sorrow of bearing their own children. We remember mothers who have died, especially those that we named before you aloud or silently. Comfort all who mourn, and give us with them the hope and the promise of your eternal home. Lord, in your mercy, into your hands, O God, we command all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. stand as you're able as we hear our gospel for this day. Our gospel today comes from John, the 15th chapter. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. If I have said these things to you, so that my joy may be complete in you, and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No greater love, no 
no one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friend. You are my friends. If you do what I command you, I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, because you have made known, I, have, I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my Father. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruits, fruits that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask in him in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Christ. May you see it. Grace and peace to you from God, our Father, and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our gospel for this day comes immediately after last week's, as we were called to understand that Christ is the vine, and God is the vine grower. They have to be connected, because the words that flow from one to the other continue to flow out of us. See, within these words of our gospel, we have actually been changed. We have been changed not by our choosing, but by our being chosen. This is one of the things that kind of strikes us a little bit strange as we choose so much in our life. Choose who we might go out on a date with, or might even marry. Choose who we continue to put our trust in, or not put our trust in. See, this is one thing where we've come to understand that we are here. We are members of this body of Christ, not by our own choosing, but by God continuing to bestow His promises and His love upon us when we need it. Because without us, we'd still be those who are not changed. Those would be those who actually continue, continue to understand or think that we were just maybe students or followers or those who maybe went along with the ideals of somebody who was a good teacher, somebody who had good motives. Somebody who had the care of the community at their hearts. We could choose to follow somebody just like this. But many of us actually have come to this church as those who have been born by the works of God. We've been born again through the font, through the body that has been poured out and broken so that we, when we are baptized into Jesus' death and re resurrection, we are called children of God. For that is who we are. See, within our gospel, we continue to understand God's love and grace for us when we're not friends even. When we were sinners, apart from His grace, we then came into His grace by Him sending His Son to us to die and to be raised so that we would no longer just be servants. We would be called friends. We would be chosen to be children of God, saved and redeemed through this promise that God has given us. What happens in the difference between somebody who is just a servant and the Heard a little bit of that a couple weeks ago. Somebody who was just a hired hand might, when danger comes, scatter and not do the job that is ahead of them. But when we understand who we've been made to be, who we've been chosen to be, that God has chosen us through His Son so that we would be friends. And then being friends and children of God, 
then we would actually be sent out in the right way. To be those who continue to abide in his love, continue to be those who abide in his promises, so that we do not fear any longer, but we simply go out trusting that we are his, that we are one of the branches within this long vine, that we already abide in Christ, that we hold on to his word, and in that we find life here and now, but also in his what is yet to come. We are then freed and set free to be once again servants of a different kind, just like he was. We have been called to be children of God who have been set free to go near those who need our help. Instead of inward focus on our own choices, we are set out to look at those who are nearest to us, those who are crying out, those who are in pain, those who are mourning the losses of loved ones so dear. We are called to be those with eyes that are turned out, ears that are willing to listen, and mouths that actually continue to share this good work. We continue to abide. We continue to be those who are chosen. Many of us, even in our own womb, in the wombs of our mothers, so that we would be those who continue to be known long before this world ever knew us. That we are children of God, and that we continue to have a word that goes out, a word that continues to come near, a word that continues to choose. Choose the ones who hear it, are those beautiful feet that come and break this brand new news in. This is the why of what we do. We are called and gathered to be those who are sent out to share in this work of children, of sinners forgiven, servants sent out to do the love and work, not of a master, of our Father, continuing to do those things and actually loving one another. Loving one another not for the sake of reward, but for the sake of our neighbor, the one who God continues to put before us so that they, like we, may be chosen through his work, that we continue to go out, we continue to abide, we continue to be loved in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's join together in singing our, our hymn of this day, Abide With Me.
invite you to please stand as you're able to continue to confess our faith to the words of the Apostles' Creed together with the whole Christian Church. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Alive in the risen Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we bring our prayers before God who promises to hear us and answer in steadfast love. Loving God, you call us to be your fruit-bearing church. Strengthen the bonds among all Christian churches. Today we pray for the Moravian Church, giving thanks for the life and witness of Nicholas Ludwig von Zindelor. Renewer of the church and hymn writer. Lord, in your mercy. Creating God, and the earth praises you. The seas roar and the hills sing for joy. Fill the earth with your love, so that by their song, all creatures of land and sea and sky, burrowing and soaring, may call us to join with them in praise. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Faithful Savior, you are the conqueror of the world, not with weapons, but with undying love. Plant your word in the hearts of nations' leaders, and give them your spirit, so that the peoples of the world may live in peace. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Karen Wheeler, you forget no one, and accompany the lonely. Be present with those who are sick, suffering, and dying. We lift up to you, Preston Paulington, Audrey Rover, Greg Hamlet, Jerry Smith, Cindy Lighthizer, Wayne Schoening, Gene Watt, <coughs> Rich Vargo, Fern Beely, Jackie Iver, Lucinda Rose, Ralph Henderson, Dallas Orish. Paul and Phyllis Swiderski, Floyd Moscato, Milo Kaminsky, Floyd Zamoda, Adlan Heaney, Harry Finch, Gene, uh, Julian Schultz, Tom McLoon, Tom Trenda, Greg Vlasic, Pastor Bob Moda, and Amy Corpius. We lift up to you, the service women, men, men and women of this country, especially those serving from our congregation. We lift up you, Travis Ferguson, Cassie Gilbertson, Ashley Noisky, Adam Vlasic, Sam Westerhouse, and Brandon Van Hout. We lift up to you those who provide care and life to this community. We lift up to you the EMTs and paramedics, the doctors, nurses, and all who work in the healthcare field. We lift up to you the police officers and sheriff's deputies who continue to be called to come and care to near to those who need their care, to be those who continue to protect and serve those placed in their hands. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Provide for those who are needing homes, for those who need medical care, points us towards the life-changing responses to the needs of our own communities. Be with those who are dying. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for the gift of marriage. We give thanks for Ben and Allie Erkers, who are married here today at St. John Lutheran. May you continue to bless and keep them, and continue to be the one who holds them for if they have been gathered together, may God have us joined together, let no one separate. 
be with them in their marriage and the joy of what is yet to come. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Gracious God, as a mother comforts her child, you comfort us. Bless mothers and mothering people in our lives. Comfort those who miss their mothers, mothers who grieve, those who grieve because they cannot be mothers, and those who have never known a loving mother. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Gentle Redeemer, all who die in you abide in your presence forever. We remember with thanksgiving those who have shared their love and witness throughout their lives with us. They continue to abide with us, to share their witness and love of you. May you continue to keep us together in the promise that we will be united with those who have gone before us and Christ who continues to be gathered with his saints. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Heavenly Father, we give thanks that you promise to hear our words. You promise to be the faithful Father who continues to hear all that we need. Christ has given us the boldness to come to you with our needs, with our cares, with the cares of others. We lift these up now, trusting that you hear them on account of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. At this time, we continue to give thanks and ask for offerings and care for the community that we're part of, the world to which we've been sent out to. We give thanks for the stewardship that all of you have for the life and ministry of this congregation, but also for the life and ministry of the building and the church that we continue to gather in. We continue to ask and continue to plan on the future of the restoration of the inside of our congregation, that our church, and to continue to be those who ask for your gifts and talents to continue to be shared in and amongst the ministry of this church. We now continue our service with the great thanksgiving for Holy Communion.
Now may the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Amen. Now may God bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he lift his favor upon you and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We'll continue our service with our sending song. You may be seated at this time for it. Uh, Yesu, Yesu, the lust of your love. Christ be with you always. Amen. 